Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a video part 2 of the video series on the Postgres Rib MGR high availability cluster lab setup. Today we are going to setting up an Oracle Linux 9 on VirtualBox. If you want to go immediately to the Oracle Linux installation feel free to skip ahead. There will be a chapters so look out for those watch whatever you like and I would appreciate it if you watch the whole video and I hope you find it informative. So with all that being said, let's jump in. Before we proceed with the installation, we need to have the ISO image. So you can go to the Oracle official website and proceed with this page. I will keep this link below in the description box of this video. You can come here and check the release. We will take the latest, which is 9.4. So you can click here right now and click yes, save. We can see here that this one is proceed downloading i will pause it cancel it because i have it already once you have the iso image downloaded and you have it on your uh, pc or laptop so you need to run the virtual box manager click on this three dashes and go to the network here we need to create a virtual nat for this lab so click on nat network tab go to create you can see here NAT network is now added. Let's give it a name and let's give it also a subnet 10, 10, 200, and 0. Once you finish and make sure that enable DHCP is checked, click on apply. We can see here that it's enabled the DHCP and the IB subnet is added and the name is BG underscore NAT. Now let's move to create a VM. From here, we can click on the new. Let's give this VM a name. I give it OL, stands for Oracle Linux 9 underscore BG1. Let's select the ISO image. We can see here my, the ISO image. I have Oracle Linux release 9 update 4, 64 bit DVD.ISO. VirtualBox smart enough to identify this ISO. That's its Oracle Linux 64 bit. Let's check this button skip unattended installation and click next. Here we need to modify the virtual machine hardware and we need to change the amount of the RAM. Let's give it 4 gigabytes, give it 4 CPU and click enable EFI and then click next. In sake of demonstration, I will give it 30 but feel free to give any size you wish for the disk and you need to make sure that your laptop or PC have enough space ram and cpu so i give it 30 in sake of demonstration so let's click next here we have the summary let's click finish we can see here that the vm is added on the left let's click on network here let's click on the first adapter enable this network adapter and select NAT network we can see here that the bg NAT is already selected then click ok you can see here that the network NAT network and bg NAT is selected now we have this vm is ready for running so we can start it let's click on start i don't want to go with test install oracle linux 9 immediately once the VM is running right now and we have the Oracle Linux is loaded, then we can see here we'll come to Oracle Linux 9.4. So let's select the language for me. We'll go with English and English United States and continue. Here we can see like the installation summary. So we'll start first with the installation destination. We have here the virtual box hard disk. Uh, it's selected. We can see here so we can go with custom. And then let's press done. Click here to create them automatically. I will go with this one. You can see here that the partition is automatically created. I'm satisfied with this result. So let's click done and accept the changes. Now we need to create a root password. You need to add here a complex password. But here in sake of demonstration, I put a weak one. So done twice. Here we need to create a user. So for me, I will add a username admin, the same admin. I need to make it um, administrator. Then I will add a password. 
here also you need to add a, a complex password and strong password here i put weak because um uh sake of administration so double click on done to confirm here we need to go with the software selection make sure that the gui is selected server with gui so i will keep it uh, server with without any um, additional software installed you can check also time and date and all these things so for me everything is fine we can go with begin installation the installation is completed and it's asked us for reboot the system so i will click the reboot system here and let's wait once we rebooted the system it will ask us to access uh, no thanks we can see here that the operating system is ready you can see here also it's connected let's power off this virtual machine right now so let's click in this corner then power off then power off now let's clone this machine select this machine and right click clone let's name this machine just add remove one and add two pick the full clone and current machine state pick generate new mac address for all network adapters and then finish we can see here that the copying machine progress we can see here that we have the second one let's repeat the process for the third node the same and generate new mac address for network and finish we have right now three nodes let's make sure that three nodes have the same not network that's fine let's select the first vm and power it up let's do the same for the other vms as well so this is the we can see here from the title Oracle linux bg3 bg2 and bg1 so let's start with bg1 let's access here you can see here that the connect connection is failed we need to create we need to set a static ib instead of dynamic dhcp and then we will put 10.10.200 and 10 the subnet mask is the net mask is yeah four the gateway is like this one control v and uh, yeah and also here that dns also the same and then press apply then stop and start now we can see that we have here the network is running this change here also the host name we can see here the host name is localhost so we need to change it to something like ol9-bg1 so to do that we need to uh, run a command i will write it right now but let's first check the, the using this command host name let's see we can see here that the host name is localhost so let us just run that command sudo sudo hostname ctl set hostname ol9-bg1 let's check the hostname again yeah let's exit and run this uh, terminal again to make sure that it's working fine and everything is okay we can see here that's the host name right now changed to ol9-bg1 okay and let's uh, ib dash brief a you can see here that the ib address is also taken so that's it now let's move to the other machines now we have the bg2 we'll do the same so let's yeah access let's close this one we need to come to this corner again wire off wire sitting and then we can come here and come to this one manual and we need to add 10.10.200.11 now we need also to submit 24 and the same of this one control c control v and the same as well here okay so let's press apply now we can see the network is right now connected okay Let's check the network first, ib-prA. You can see here that the network 
IB address is changed to the same subnet with 11 in the end. Now let's change the host name by this command sudo. So we can change it by running the same this command, but in the end pg2 and host name ctl. We can see here that the pg2 is added. We come to the third node, do the same. I will do it quick right now. Let's check here. We can see here that's okay, fine. This is from the terminal. You can see here from the terminal that we have the host name is localhost. Let's change it by running the command. So by this command, we will change the host name. Let's click enter, enter the password. Let's check if the host name is changed. We can see here the host name is changed to the BG3. Let's check the IB as well. We can see here that the IB address is 12 for this server. We need to do the last thing here. We need to enable the clip. So by directional, by enabling this, that will allow you to copy and paste from the VM and into the VM. So we'll enable it for uh, all the VMs like this. Select this one clip shared by the by directional. Okay. Because I'm using Linux, so I'll try to reach those nodes from my uh, from my host. So if you are using Windows, you need to have the OSSH client, for example, like uh, Putty, Mobxterm, or any other preferred client for you, any other preferred SSH client for you. But for me, because I'm using Linux here as a host, so it's easy for me to use SSH client because it's already available in my operating system. So to reach here, we need to go to the virtual box. So we need to run the virtual box manager like this. And we need to click this three dots and go to the network. And from here, we need to go to the port forwarding. Here, select the IBV4 tab, click on this plus icon, green icon. And then here, I will name it SSH PG1, the host. You can leave it, but for me, I like to make it only just listen to the local host. And here, I will add the port that will listen to the, um, yeah. So I will need SSH1. The IP address will be the first node, which is 10. The guest port, which is the port we are aim to port forward. So it will be the 22, which is the SSH port for this IB. So we can now add another one, which is SSH underscore BG2127. I will make it listen to the local host. The same 222. Uh, 2 and here will be 22 and the IB will 11 this is the second node the third node will be SSH underscore BG3 the same 127.0.0.1 and here will be 2.2.2.3 make sure those ports are not listening already on your operating system on the host so if those listening, this will not work. Make sure that they are available. And here as well, also we need to add two, two. And here one. Once we have done this one, we can apply. Let's go to the terminal. Now we will try to access the test node using SSH. One, two, admin at one, two, seven, minus P, two, 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 one. Enter. Yes. And then access the password. Voila. I am right now inside the first node. Do the same for the other nodes. So let's access the second node the same way. Click yes. Then the password. We are right now in the second node. Let's do the same for the third node. So SSH, just add three in the end. Now I am also connected to the third node nice now i will need to change the yeah one thing i need to change the admin to use sudo without passing the password so i will just uh, sudo vi sudo so let's access the password search for wheel we can see here that's this one forward slash wheel to search inside the vim and i need just to comment this one Press I, then, yeah, enter the hash, and then remove this one, and save and exit. 
the same here as well by running sudo vi sudo enter and enter the password search for wheel In this one we need to comment and uncomment this one this will allow sudo with no password for the second server the same we will do for the third node vi sudo search for wheel let's comment this one and uncomment this one save and exit here so let's test it I'm right now root without password the same here the same here so like this no need for password because I cloned the second VM and the third VM from the first VM they have all of them the same machine ID so we can check here so from the first node we can see that the machine ID ends with FE8FA the second machine or the second VM is in the same FE8FA and the third node the same FE8FA so to change this one we need to do the change on the second and third and keep the first node the same so to do this we need to just uh, remove the machine ID from the etc and var lib dbus machine ID then we need to generate a new UID using dbus dash UID gen dash dash ensure equal etc slash machine ID then we need to get we can see here that the new machine ID is generated on the second node do the same practice on the third node we can see here also the machine ID also is changed so three nodes have different right now mach machine IDs I hope you find this video uh, informative to you Thank you for watching. See you next video. Have a good day.